Hi guys! Today's video is going to be a book review over Amy Poehler's Yes Please. Now, the first thing I want to mention about this book is the cover. I mean, look at this thing. It's shiny and bright and it's very appealing to the eye. After seeing this in the bookstore, I immediately picked it up and turned it over. Because what else do you do with the books? And as you can see, the writing and the font gets very, very, very tiny. And it took me a while to read the last lines on the back of the cover, but I eventually did it. Now, I'm not going to lie. The back cover is probably most of the reason why I bought this one I did. Otherwise, I would have put it on my to-be-read to list, maybe put it on my Christmas list, and hoped for the best. However, I thought the back was hilarious, and Amy Poehler is just a really funny person, so I bought the book right then. Now, me, personally, I like these kind of books. I like the biographies from celebrities that I know and follow, and it's very interesting to get a look at their life and to see what they have gone through to get where they are today. Two of my probably most favorite books like this that I have are Melissa Explains It All and Choreography by Melissa Joan Hart and Corey Feldman. That being said, I had a feeling that I would probably like this book. Now, just another little note about the cover. When you open up the book, you can see there's thumbnails of various different shots from the cover shoot. And another thing that I absolutely love about this book and its cover I'm the kind of person that likes to take the dust jacket off of books. I don't know why, I just really like seeing what's under the dust jacket and just seeing how the book was put together. And this book, under the dust jacket, it is really clear and really white and still as sparkly as the front. Just simple, yes please. Now, to my surprise, however, flipping the book over it says thank you. I thought that was really cute and a kind of a play on the words with the title, but also as you start reading the book, you kind of understand why that she put thank you on the back. She goes into not too much detail, but enough to get the sense that she's the kind of person that likes to say yes, please, and thank you, and thinks that it is very important. Now, as for the book itself, personally, I loved it. I thought it was very funny, and it was definitely gave you an insight into Amy's life as how she got to be who she is and where she is at where she is now. In the book, she is very honest about the fact that it is a book and that books are hard to write. She mentions quite a few times that she almost quit writing this book because writing a book is hard. She goes on and on about how hard it is to write a book, yet she still wrote it. A big part of this book it centers around her improv. Improv is a huge deal to her and it is basically who she is. Improv is how she started getting the jobs that she did and it really led it led to all of her success. There are three sections in this book, and in the beginning of each section, she has How I Fell in Love with Improv. The first section is How I Fell in Love with Improv Boston. The second section involves Chicago, and the third section, New York. It basically follows her journey with improv, and I, like I've been saying, how she got to where she is. One of the things that I didn't like about this book is how some of the stories didn't feel like they had enough thought into them and that they weren't really meaty enough. However, Amy Poehler has a lot of stories considering all of her years on SNL. Every week she had a new host that she was working with, so there come a lot of stories with that. So even though I kind of had a problem with it, it fit the book and it fit this style because in order to put all those stories into a you know, fairly short book. I mean, it's not huge. She had to kind of condense it a little, and her way of condensing it was basically just going through saying, you know, so-and-so did this, and I remember this time with this person, and it just... Overall, it was really entertaining. Like I've said before, I really liked this book and I thought it was very entertaining. If you're a fan of Amy Poehler or just a fan of this kind of book style, the kind of, you know, celebrities writing about their life experiences and how they ended up to be who they are and where they are, I would definitely say check this out. That's all I have for now. You'll probably see me next around sometime this weekend, maybe Friday. I'm not too sure, but it'll definitely be a Mockingjay kind of reaction video, though it won't necessarily be reaction because I won't be taping my reaction like live. However, I do plan on doing a video about Mockingjay. In fact, I am rereading the book right now in preparation for Thursday night and I cannot wait for that movie. So until next time, you can chat with us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and we also both have Goodreads accounts that you can see what we're up to in reading. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye!